pag-inig, pakonti-konti. But at the end of the day, we have to support our families back home. Tama po ba? At the end of the day, we, at the end of the day, a big chunk, a significant amount of the kita of our earnings, we send it to our wife and kids back home. And kung naghihirap po tayo ngayon, if we're struggling right now, I am sure our families back home are struggling as well. Tama po yan? Tama po yan. So what we need right now, there's an old saying, anin pang damo kung panahin patay na ang kabayo. We don't need the grass if the horse is already dead. We need financial assistance now. We are in hardship. We are paying rents. We cannot, we cannot afford to pay our rents. How many of you boys hindi na pagbayad ng kotse? Starting, nagdidilinquenta po ang pagbabayad natin ng car payments. Sino? Taas ang kamay. Diba? We cannot afford the car payments. We cannot afford our rents. So far, this may be the biggest unemployment hit in the sector of migrant workers. More than 500 migrant workers was laid off on one day, in an hour. And these migrant workers are here, nagpunta po tayo dito, to form a better life, to get a decent job. So what do we want? Final pay! Final pay! Ibigay po. Yung pinangap, the, the financial assistance promised by the Philippine government, emergency, emergency assistance, now na. Emergency funds! Emergency funds! Hindi na po natin kaya maghintay from Auckland to Hamilton to Wellington to Christchurch, South Island, Central North Island. Hundreds of hundreds of migrant workers were taken off. Days before Christmas, they are in hardship right now. We are here in solidarity. Thank you very much for everyone who's here. Maraming salamat po sa mga katawa po natin dito. Mabuhay po kayo lahat. Kayo po tunay na bayani. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Mike.